flat by Doreen Cromer. Pictures by Betsy Lewis. Farmer Brown was going on vacation. He left his brother Bob in charge of the animals. I wrote everything down for you. Just follow my instructions, and everything will be fine. Brown thought he heard giggles and snickers as he drove away, but he couldn't be sure. Bob gave Duck a good long stare and went inside. frozen kind, the hens prefer anchovies. Giggle, giggle. Twenty-nine minutes later, there was hot pizza in the barn. checked on the animals before he went to bed. Everything was just fine. Brown called home on Wednesday night to check in. Did you feed the animals like I wrote in the note? He asked. Done, replied Bob, counting seven empty pizza boxes. No. 
told about the pig. All taken care of, said Bob proudly. Are you keeping a very close eye on Duck? was too busy sharpening his pencil to note. Just keep him in the house, ordered Farmer Brown. He's a bad influence on the cow. Giggle, giggle. Thursday night is movie night. It's the cow turn at the pit. As the animal settled in to watch the sound of music, the phone rang. The only thing Farmer Brown heard on the other end was giggle, giggle, quack, giggle. guys like that story that story is a, was a fictional story about a duck and the reason I picked that is because I thought we would do a little science today about ducks so we're gonna go to mystery Doug I love mystery Doug and all righty and we're gonna talk and we'll learn a little bit about why baby ducks follow their mother Hi, it's Doug. Today, you're going to read a story about someone named Juan Carlos. One day, Juan Carlos visits his grandmother. She has a pond full of ducks in her backyard, and Juan Carlos has lots of questions about ducks. You're going to read about what he does to figure out the answers to his questions. But you aren't just going to read. Sometimes you'll get up and do something, look for clues, or stop to talk about your ideas. Let's turn the page and get started. All right, so you're gonna pause the video when they ask you to do something and then get up and do it. A pond full of ducks. I noticed some of the ducks look different from the others. Grandma says, the brown ones are mother ducks. 
the ones with green heads are father ducks. I wonder, why is the mother duck brown? Why isn't she brightly colored like the father duck? Maybe the mother used to be bright green, but she faded. Or maybe the mother is brown so she can hide in the brown plants by the pond. What do you think? Why is the mother duck brown and not brightly colored like the father duck? I ask Grandma what she thinks. She shows me a mother duck on her nest. Now, do you notice something about the duck on her nest? What does she kind of do? Can you see her very easily? Is she easy to spot? Look, her color matches the color of the dry grass. Being brown helps her hide. It's called camouflage. I watch the ducks to see what they do. They walk in a line. They eat seeds and plants. They swim in the pond using their feet as paddles. But wait, why are these little birds following the big duck? Are the little ones another kind of bird? Why do you think the little birds are following the big duck? And I want you guys to kind of think about that. And uh, I would love if I could ask you questions, but I can't really ask you questions because we're not here. But um, one thing I notice is they are different colors than the, than the other ducks, but they are following that duck. We know this is a mother duck because of her coloring. So why do you think these babies follow their mother? Grandma says the big duck is the mother. The little ones are her babies. The babies are called ducklings. They follow their mother walking in a line. The ducklings eat food in the grass just like their mother. The ducklings follow their mother and go for a swim. The ducklings flap their wings just like their mother. They almost are copying her in everything she does. Get up and move. Pretend you're a duckling. Do what the mother duck does. So go ahead and get up, look at the video, and do exactly what that mother duck is doing. Good job. Why do the ducklings do what their mother does. Do you have any ideas? They're kind of actually copying their mother. Why do you think they're copying exactly what she does? Hi, 
I watch the ducklings and here's what I think. Mother duck shows the ducklings what to eat, where to go, and how to swim. She almost looks like she's teaching a class, doesn't it, right here? Here's her students and here she is teaching. They're all watching her. It's probably how they learn to survive. Uh-oh, here comes a cat. What's going on here? What do you think the mother duck is doing once she sees that cat? Stop and talk. What do you think the mother duck is doing? Oh, look what she's doing now. She sees a cat. So what she what's she doing? Look at her babies. Yeah, she's hiding them. She's protecting them and she's making all kinds of noise right here so that the babies uh, maybe the duck will scare off the cat and keep her babies safe. The mother duck is scaring away the cat. She's protecting her babies. I want to take a duckling home with me. Me too, they're awfully cute. And that you're gonna see them start to be out in the ponds and the lakes because it's springtime. So you're gonna notice that ducks, the baby geese are starting to hatch and you're gonna see quite a few of them walking around, following their mothers, just like in this video. Grandma says that ducklings need room to play and a pond to swim in. That's why they gather there. I decide the ducklings should stay at Grandma's house. Grandma says I can come and visit her and the ducklings anytime. The end. So now that you've seen how the mother duck helps her ducklings, I want you to take a look at these videos. Can you figure out what's going on in each one? And this is the part where you might have to stop and uh, turn off the video and um, write down what, the, what they're doing. So here we go. What do you think these birds are doing? You can go to Google Classroom and I'll have a form in there and this will be question number one. What are the hungry robin chicks doing? What are the parents doing for them? Here's the next one. What is, what are the, look what she's doing. So you're going to be writing down what are these what are the birds doing? Okay, now we're going to go to the next one. What is the big cat doing? What is the big cat doing? And that's going to be the second question on your mystery Doug question sheet. What is the big and the little cat doing? And here's the big one, the third one. How do the baby shrews make sure they don't get lost? Mum is clearly not fussed about how much sleep her babies get and takes them out any time of day or night.
All right, so those are baby shrews, and you can see that they're trying not to get lost by the mother. <clears throat> All right, so that is the end of this mystery, and we are going to, now you're going to go to your Google Docs, and you're going to go on to Mystery Doug lesson for March 27th, and you're going to answer the questions about the video. If you need to watch it again, you sure can. Bye. See you later.